Welcome to this LibreOffice lesson on text functions, part two. This time it's all about separating parts of a string of text into separate columns. First off is the left, mid, and right functions. These could be useful to extract different parts of a string of text. Like these serial numbers, I want to get the three parts of the numbers which are separated by dashes into columns B, C, and D. First, in B2 I'll type equals left, press enter. First parameter is the text. This is the text string I'm extracting from. That'll be the text in cell A2, so click A2. Comma. Second parameter is number. This is how many characters to extract from the left. First part of the serial number has two characters, so a two here. Press tab to move to the next cell. Now to extract the next part of the number, I'll use the mid function. Type equals mid. Press enter. First parameter is the text. Click A2, then a comma. Next is the start. This is the starting position of where to extract the text. It starts from the left side at 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. The fourth character. Type 4. Comma. Next is the number. How many digits do I want to extract? There are four, so type a four. Press tab. Now, finally, the last part of the serial number. For this, I use the write function. So type into D2 equals write. Press enter. First parameter is the text again. Click A2, then a comma. Next parameter is number. How many characters from the right? There's three, so a three here. Press enter. Now drag and highlight B2 to D2. Then double click the fill handle and all the numbers are extracted. Here's another example of how to use the left, mid, and right functions. I have some phone numbers that I want to put in the phone format for North America, with the area code in parentheses and a dash after the first three numbers. The method I use here can be easily adapted for any other country's phone format. In B9 type equals, now I'm going to put the area code in parentheses, so a double quote, type an open parentheses, End quote. Now an ampersand to join the text with the function. Type left, then enter. First parameter, text. Click A9. Comma. There are three digits for the area code, so type 3. Now click after the parentheses for the left function. Type an ampersand. Now double quote, a closed parentheses, and a space, end quote. Now another ampersand to join the mid function. Type mid, press enter, click A9 for text, comma, start will be the fourth digit, so type 4, comma, then the number of characters. There's three, so type three. Click after the parentheses for the mid function. Then type an ampersand. Double quote. Type a minus sign for the dash. In some countries they use a space, so you would just type a space between the two quotes. Then end quote. Type an ampersand. Then write, press enter. First parameter, it's A9 again, comma. 
Next is number. There are four from the right. Type four, then press enter. Click B9 again, then double click on the fill handle. And there you go, perfectly formatted phone numbers. Now those examples were of a fixed number of characters. What if you had something like this? As you see, these serial numbers are of different length and have different separators between them, and even a space separating this last bit. The best way to deal with something like this is with Calc's Text to Columns feature. To use it, first drag and highlight the column of text. Then go to the Data menu and choose Text to Columns. In the Text to Columns dialog, under where it says Separator Options, make sure Separated By is chosen. You can choose what separators are used, tab, comma, semicolon, space, and other to define any other character. So for these serial numbers, I'll check space, I'll check other, I'll put a minus sign in the text box for the dash, followed by a forward slash. Here at the bottom, it gives you a preview of the columns. Looks good. Click OK. And there you are. All the numbers are separated. You can also use text to columns with data which has no separator, but it has to all have the same number of characters. Here's some more serial numbers I need to separate. I need the first three characters, then the next three, then the last four in separate columns. I can use the left, mid, and right functions, but text to columns is a lot faster. First, select the text you want to separate, then go to the data menu, choose text to columns. Here under separator options, I'll choose fixed width this time. Now in the preview, if you hover the mouse pointer over the ruler at the top, a separator line appears. You can move the line back and forth by moving the mouse pointer. When it's at the point where you want the separation, click the mouse. Now it indicates that there are two separate columns. It also displays a red dot at the separation point on the ruler. Now I'll hover the mouse over the ruler again to get the next one, and click. If you make a mistake, and the separation point is in the wrong place, just move the mouse pointer over the separation point and click it again, and no more separation. Click OK. And there's my data in separate columns. Well, that's all for this lesson on Calc's text functions. Thanks for watching.